Hello dear friends in trick number 221 today we are going to learn some basic factorization concepts now see whenever we talk of factorization we need to understand the procedure of taking common factors now see there are basic three steps in factorization if whenever you face a uh, question of factorization the first step you need to do is to look for common factor now there may be two terms three terms four terms in the question and you need to look for any common factors that might the uh, that might uh, be there in the question if there is a common factor you need to take out the common factor first but if the question does not contain a common factor then the second step after c c stands for common factor is i i means identity now you know that there are basic algebraic identities like a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a square minus b square and, and so on after you have found out the common factor the next step is to look for the identity so you need to identify which identity is being used in that factorization problem and if you cannot find any identity then the third step should be to look for the method so that this is m so these are the three basic steps of factorization c i m c stands for looking for the common factor i stands for looking for the identity to be used and m stands for looking for the method to be used so we are going to uh, do a number of videos on this factorization so that you can understand this very important concept of algebra well so i am taking five basic problems of algebra and through these steps we will try and factorize these questions now see in the first question here 6x plus 14y the first step i told you was to look for a common factor now see 6 and 14 they come in the table of 2 so 2 is the common factor and x and y obviously they are independent different variables so they are not common so only thing common here is 2 so if you take 2 common then divide this 6 by 2 you get 3 so 3 and the x is always there because it is not common Again, fourteen. Fourteen divided by two is seven, and y is always there. Now, after having taken two common, we have obtained this result. Now, the next thing is to look for a identity. Here we have two terms whose degree is one and which have different variables, so they cannot be added, subtracted, or any identity. It cannot be used in this question. So, this itself is the final answer. in one step only now see you can use this uh, looking for this common factor method here also now see 30 and 40 now what is the highest common factor of 30 and 40 so obviously they both contain zero so they will come in the table of 10 so 10 is the common factor of 30 and 40 and here we have x square here we have x so 1x is common here we have y and here we have y square so one y is common so what term we need to take out is 10 x y now see after having taken this 10 x y common 30 divided by 10 is 3 x square divided by x is x and y it is already uh, common so only 3 x is left behind in the first term in the second term 40 divided by 10 is 4 x is already taken out and y square divided by y is y now you see after having taken 10 xy as the common term the only two terms which are left is 3x minus 4y in which we cannot use any, any identity and we cannot add or subtract these two terms so th this 10xy into 3x minus 4y is our final answer likewise let us try and use the first step looking for the common factor here also now see 8 and 18 they exist in the table of 
so 2 is common between 8 and 18 and here we have x raised to power 3 and here we have x so 1x is obviously there in both the terms so only 2x this is the common factor of the two terms so what is left behind is 8 divided by 2 4 and x cube divided by x x square minus 18 divided by 2 is 9 x is obviously taken out and y square is left behind now see there are two terms they are both are in squares and we have a minus sign in between so whenever we have two terms which are in squares and we have a negative sign in between then we use identity a square minus b square which is equal to the sum of the two bases multiplied by the difference of the two bases so here if you convert this into whole square this 4x square will become 2x whole square and 9y will become 3y whole square so in this term a is 2x and b is 3y so the next step will get give you the answer 2x will retain its position as it is because it is a common factor and now we have two factors because the degree is 2 so there will be two factors sum and difference so sum 2x plus 3y and difference 2x minus 3y so this is the final answer of this third question now in this question obviously we have made use of two steps that is to looking uh, to look for the common factor first and then to look for the identity which was used here in the first two questions only the first step was required now let us try and do this here also now see 16 is in the numerator so here the coefficient is 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 and 16 they never come in the table of any natural number so nothing is common here so the first step here looking for common factor is omitted because there is nothing common the next step next step is to look for the identity now see again here you have a square here you have a square and in between them you have a negative sign so again the same identity a square minus b square can be applied in this case also so what you do is make them as whole square 16 is 4 4 square is 16 now see x square so 4x whole square and y square becomes y and 4 becomes 2 see now we have a square minus b square now a is 4x and b is y upon 2 so what is the result we have two factors in which the first one will be the sum of the two bases and the second one will be the difference of two bases so see sum of two bases and difference of two bases so this is your final answer yes you can take lcm also and uh, by taking lcm you will get the, uh, get the answer by removing this fraction so but if you leave it like this also this is also correct now see in this question fifth question again 9 42 and 49 they are all uh, numbers which do not exist in the table of a single number and here we have x square here we don't have x here we don't have y so nothing is common in these three terms so looking for common factor the first step is omitted now look for the identity now see we have three terms so whenever we have three terms in which there are squares in two of them then either it will be a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square or it will be a minus b whole square but here we have all terms positive so obviously this will get converted into a plus b whole square now let us try and do, uh, convert this into whole square say 9x square is 3x whole square and 49y square is 7y whole square now see we have a square plus b square a is 3x and b is 7y so in between the second term will get converted into 2ab now 2ab so 2a now in place of a we have 3x and b in place of b we have 7y 
सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दीज थ्री टर्म्स सेवन थ्री जै ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन टू जै फोर्टी टू सो फोर्टी टू एक्स वाई द सेम टर्म इज ऑप्टेन सो देर इज नो हार्म इन स्प्लिटिंग दिस मिडिल टर्म एज टू ए बी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप बिकॉज दिस इज ए स्क्वायर प्लस टू ए बी प्लस बी स्क्वायर वी हैव कन्वर्टेड दिस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर सो दिस विल गेट कन्वर्टेड इन टू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर और यू कैन राइट दिस एज थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई एंड थ्री एक्स प्लस सेवन वाई टू टाइम्स विच इज द फाइनल आंसर ऑफ दिस फैक्टराइजेशन स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस थ्री स्टेप्स दैट इज सी आई एम एंड यू सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम्स लिटिल बिट लॉजिकली देन यू कैन डू वंडर्स इन दिस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ एलजेब्रा and remember c i m these are the three steps c looking for common factor i looking for identity and m looking for method i have not taken any question based on the methods so in my subsequent videos on factorization i will be taking up some challenging questions of factorization till then keep viewing keep learning mathematics and share and subscribe the channel if you like it